The Oklahoma City Thunder, winners of three in a row, hosting the New Orleans Pelicans on Friday. CJ McCollum put up 40 on Thursday against San Antonio as he continues to try to shoulder the load with no Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson in the lineup for the Pels. Trey Murphy helping out as well. He had 23 points, including that triple. In the second, Jackson Hayes sneaking it along the baseline. And then Hayes from the other side with the reverse slam. This kid is uber athletic. Another big man out of the University of Texas. McCollum, that three is pure. And New Orleans up by 21 at that point. They led by 18 at halftime. Shea Gilgis Alexander would have a say about things before all this was done. Rainbow three as he helps bring OKC back in the third. Teardrop right there. And then he snakes his way to the bucket for the hoop and the foul. 17 of 29 from the floor for SGA in this one. More from Jackson Hayes getting it done. Put back in the foul. SGA. Stepping back and giving the Thunder an eight point lead with three and a half to play. McCollum on the other end, matching SGA's triple. It's a three point game with just over a buck left. How about Herb Jones getting some extra minutes with Ingram and Zion out? He ties it up at 112 with 25 to go. Same score, Trey Mann gets all the way to the rack, but it does not fall. And time expires. Man, thought he had himself a game winner. Instead, it's overtime. More from McCollum. It wasn't 40 like he did on Thursday, but a complete effort. 17 points, 6 rebounds, 11 assists. Pels by 4. SGA, how does that go in? Plus the foul. Brings it back to a one-point game. More from Jackson. Hayes, look at him for the and one. He flexes but he gets teed up for the flex. It would be a three-point game, 128-125. Hayes to the free throw line, misses, and SGA had a chance to send it to double overtime and nearly got it. But despite the miss, he had a career-high 44, but it's the Pels who get wins on back-to-back -back nights after enduring a four-game losing streak.